my name is Jess. I'm a dog trainer at the Canine Coach, and I'm here today to talk to you about Disc Dog, or you might have heard of it as Frisbee Dog. Uh, it's any sort of disc that you throw for your dog counts as Disc Dog. So we wanted to talk a little bit today about what that sport is, maybe how to get started, and where you can learn more about how to do it with your own dog. So a little bit about Disc Dog, kind of as a general overview. Um, in the sport, in competition, there are a couple different areas that you can compete in. Uh, one is the traditional toss and catch. That means you're throwing a disc for your dog, trying to rack up points within a certain amount of time. Um, there's, you know, the further you go, the more points that you get. You do usually only get one frisbee. Um, we've got a couple here to show you guys. They have uh, ones that are this size. You can get fun logos on them. We've got smaller frisbees. All the frisbees that you use, though, are made for dogs. So you don't want to use any discs that are not specifically made for a canine. They design these with their canine dental health in mind. Um, you don't want to use anything that's not specifically made to go in their mouth. We want to keep their teeth safe um, and use only dog frisbees or dog discs. Um, the other type of competition that you can do in disc dog is freestyle, which is probably what you've seen on TV if you watch any of the uh, Incredible Dog Challenge or YouTube has got a ton of videos. Um, that's where they're doing all the flips and the, you know, jumping off the bodies and doing cool tricks and there's music involved. And that is a huge part of disc dog. Um, it's one of the more popular areas. People train a lot to work on their freestyle routines. Um, those are usually 90 seconds to 120 seconds long. And when you go out there, you can do whatever it is that you like to do. So um, there's no set amount of flips you need to do. There's no set amount of throws that you need to make. It's all about going out and doing what you want to showcase with your dog to the music of your choice. So one of the more common questions that I get a lot is, where do you go or what do you do to learn how to play disc with your dog? Uh, there are a lot of local resources available for that. Um, there are group classes, such as at the Canine Coach. There's also a local club called the Minnesota Disc Dog Club. Um, they do a lot of play dates as well, where members help others learn how to do things. It's a really great community. Um, people are really supportive and they want to help you learn how to do these things with your dog. And one of the things we want to do today is show you a couple of those beginner things that you can get started with at home in your own backyard to help engage your dog with that disc and drive, build a little bit of drive and help them find that to be a really fun activity. So we're going to have Polly and McGee out here doing a couple different moves that I'll explain and why we do them. Them, and so they can double them for you guys. So one of the first things that we start out with when we're teaching a dog about those discs and how fun they can be is working on doing taking and tugging. And we do like to use two frisbees to do that um, just so that they don't develop any sort of keep away behaviors. So Polly has McGee out and she's trading between the disc and she's tugging with him. She lets him win because it's empowering and it's fun for them to have that sort of victory of they won. But you'll notice he always goes for the disc that she has because that is the more fun disc. It's the one that he can tug with and play with. So they do a lot of tugging for that. Um, another thing that we do to help engage them and learn to chase that disc are, they're called rollers. Um, and that's when we roll the disc on the ground and they can chase it and run and get it. There he goes. So it kind of taps into that prey chase drive that dogs have to go after this fun rolling fast disc. And he just grabs it right off the ground. Good job, buddy. He's also doing an around, uh, which, where he goes around Polly to line up for that roller, which is great because he's in motion, he's facing the disc, and now he's grabbing those right off the ground. Once we've learned, uh, we've worked on those rollers and we've worked on those arounds, the next thing we do is an around with a short toss. Nice job, guys. So he's got a nice little toss and he grabs it. Nice job. So this is helping him develop the retrieve. Um, he comes back for that next frisbee. Um, that tugging that we did earlier really helps develop, bring it back for the reward so he can get a tug when he comes back or he gets his next disc when he comes back as well. Nice job, guys. So this is very similar to what toss and catch looks like in a competition where he's bringing the disc back, he's going around, and he's going out for more catches. The further he catches, the more points he'd be getting um, in a competition. Nice job, guys.
Thanks for watching the video. To watch the next one, click right here. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button right here.